Hello everybody and welcome back to another exciting episode of Minecraft. Finally back home, starting a little farm, isn't that cute? Our farm looks so good. Um, I'm just kind of just getting the, the gist of everything, getting back to normal. I mean, we went out for an adventure, we found ourselves a roguelike dungeon, we died, we found an ender chest, we put things in the ender chest, we destroyed the ender chest, and now we kind of have to get the ender chest back in order for it to be useful. Uh, but we're back home, and I'm going to enjoy being back home and start working on some things that I've been wanting to get working on in the game. Particularly getting a bookshelf up and running, if I remember how. Um, what I should do is look up a bookshelf, actually. Let's take a look. Because then we can start getting some of the magic stuff up and running, which is what I really was aiming for for a long time. So, if we wanted to make a bookshelf, wood, wood, with three books in the middle, that's easy. We can actually make one right now. Um, we'll go ahead with uh, that, and there we go, we'll get one down, and we can plop this sucker down next to our bed, it's a nice little bookshelf, um, and we'll go ahead and find our wand, and we will see what we can do with it, if anything. Uh, I'm very curious to see what kind of magical things are going to head to start our way, now that we'll have this. So we put our wand, I think, in here, we're going to go ahead and go over to the bookshelf, boom, oh, what was, what is that? Thumbonom, the Thumbonomicon. Huh. The Peck Thaumatology. What in the balls? So we finally have our first. Okay. So we finally have our first magical stuff. The steps in the right direction. That's cool. Um, the question is, what in the hell do we do with it? Tome of Knowledge. We need scribing tools in the Thaumonomicon. Oh my god, this is incredibly crazy. So, these large and majestic trees can be found dotted all over the countryside. Their wood is able to absorb impressive amounts of magic, making a popular component in the crafting of magical devices. So this is like... So what we did was we took this bookshelf and we smacked it with our magic wand. And now we have ourselves like a book of knowledge. That's actually going to tell me all kinds of different things. It's like different schools of magic. This is cool. This is really cool. Knowledge fragments. Where do I get knowledge fragments? Research notes. So I need to find knowledge fragments. So that's something that I can do later on, which will give me... Oh my good lord, I have no idea. Like, this is, like, mildly tutorialistic and then not tutorialistic whatsoever. Um, let's, actually, it's late. Let's get to sleep. Let's get our character in bed. We'll go chop down some wood. We'll make another bookshelf, I guess, and see what we can do with it. Um, we finally have got what I was looking for, at least starting to look for. So, with that in mind, I want to start talking a little bit about what I'm going to end up doing. Because there was something that I ended up... Uh, you know, bringing up but didn't really finish talking about, which was whether I'm going to continue this series or not. And that's still very much up in the air. What I have come to the conclusion of over the past few days is that I really needed, would love more time in the day. Um, I have come, there's so many things I want to do, particularly now that I'm doing this full time and have the opportunity to, to do so. I have so many things in my mind that I want to do, so many ideas that are kind of sprouting and and different types of series that I want to do, but I don't have the time in the day to do them all. And it's driving me up a wall. Um, this particular single player campaign might change a little bit. I say single player campaign like I'm playing a fucking like RPG or something. Um, it might change uh, slightly in the coming days. Uh, we'll see. I have an idea that I think would be a lot of fun to do. Um, one that I am going to play, play around with for a little bit first. Um, I'm not sure if I want to make it as, uh, I can't, it's hard to say anything without possibly spoiling what it could be, um, so I guess I'll just keep my mouth shut. The idea that I have isn't fully set, um, it is a cool idea, I will say that, and I really like the idea of it, and I'm hoping it's going to work out even half as well as I'd like it to, but I don't want to get you guys too excited. Uh, until it's definitely set in stone, or at least episode 1, 2, and 3 have been recorded and we can continue. Um, I also had an idea for a stream called, um, well, somebody called it, I think it was Foe who called it Streamcraft. And it was the idea of going to space, because that's 
that's obviously been done by YouTubers already, and I don't really want to tread on that ground, but it's definitely something I want to do, and I think the the best option for that is to do it as a um kind of do it as a stream project, which is something I think I'm gonna end up doing. Alright, let's put this down. So I can do that. I can eh. I'm gonna keep that there. I don't know if I can use it or anything or or whatever, but we'll uh we'll definitely do something there. We'll leave it there. Um it looks good anyway. We don't need to actually go ahead and do that. So what do I need to do now? Well I need to plant these seeds is what I need to do for one. We got crops growing, lots and lots of crops growing, which is nice. Magical crops, we've got pumpkin growing. Um, so with all these things growing, and now that I have this magic book, I really want to see if I can figure this thing out. I really do. The idea of it being as cool as I think it could be um, is just too enticing. So let's see, Do we have, we have some shards, so we're going to go ahead and take these shards. Essence dust as well. We'll plop these potions in here for now. Um, we'll even put these books in here. We want to make sure we have everything that might be Thaumcraft related and hang on to it while we f figure some things out. I have a feeling Thaumcraft is going to be required, uh, is going to require a whole bunch of, let's see, a whole bunch of, uh, adventuring. So, like, it's got all the stuff, right? It's like, it's, this is basic information. And this is missing research required research expertise how to how you discover things so a repository for knowledge fragments of lore before you can build most thaumaturg thaumaturgical items and blocks you first need to discover how to do so there are several steps in this process one exploring the world and examining blocks items and creatures with a thaumameter taking the research points you gather from the first step and expanding your aspect knowledge with the research table so we need thaumameter and research table let's just start with that so we'll go ahead and look up Thaumometer? Is that what this is? Okay. We need one of each shard, gold ingots, ingots, and can we just use regular glass, or does it have to be blue or red glass? Okay, well, let's start working on shards. Alright, um, we're gonna need a new chest, aren't we? We sure as balls are. We're gonna need, like, a thaumaturgical chest. Um, and also, if this is the way we're going to end up going, we're desperately going to need um, to start making a wizard's tower. Definitely going to want to start making a wizard's tower. Okay. Uh, for now, whoops, I only made one. Derp. It's alright, it was fine. Uh, we're going to go ahead and start plopping. We'll hang on to this and this wand. Well, actually, we don't need the wand right now, so let's go ahead and put this in here. We want to put this over here. This brewing station. This is magical. This is, I guess, not really magical. We can go do something. Is that actual regular Minecraft? That's crazy. Uh, we can hang on to this. We can start storing other things. Building materials and so on. We can put over here. Uh, refined ore. What we're going to go ahead and do, actually, is make some armor with the steel that we have first. At least some armor. Because we have a lot of it. So we'll go ahead and put that on. And that and some booties we do need oh, well we actually already have a lot of this but we can get rid of this put this on this looking really good you know let's just friggin let's just go bonkers there we go looking sexy all right so we're gonna need whoops you know what let's go back in here for a second let's go ahead and stop derping around a little bit oh i have no more logs do i have sticks in here i do Let's go ahead and make a couple of axes then. Did I use all my iron ore? No, I didn't. It's right there. I was like, there's no way I used all my iron ore. Which is not, not possible. Alright, so we need shards. We need shards. We need cool different shards. That's fine. Let's go into our mine and look. There's definitely shards down there of many different kinds. So let's go start hunting them down. Those are those things with all the weird like glowy lines on them. I'm almost positive that's what they were if my memory serves me. Which I think it does. Um, I just don't know where I would even start looking for it. Eh. No, 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 no. Okay. Maybe. Do I have any torches? I have plenty. Let's start lighting up this area. Let's start looking. Let's start doing some exploration. That's what we're going to be looking for right now. Aha. Perfect. As I speak of what I need. 
entropy infused. So I'm assuming we'll need these. I assume we'll need a little bit of all the shards. I feel like that's going to be the first thing we need. Is just, just, oh, what the fucking Jesus. Get out of here. Oh, that garbage. I'll light this area up. I'll grab a little bit of the coal. Lapis Luzili. Who knows? We might need it. Let's go ahead and grab it. Thermal expansion. Nah. You know, not right now. Let's go ahead and grab this redstone, though. Redstone's pretty much useful all the time. We don't need fireball launcher stuff. Not yet, anyway. Alright, we've got some light in here. Uh, steel, useful. We can duplicate it at least, which is useful. Um, what are we going to get rid of for that? Just cobblestone. I don't want to go too deep and get lost, but getting uh, getting down and dirty is going to be necessary to find everything I need, I think. We'll, get a, we'll light things up. Just so I know that I've A, been there, and B, I think I already have some of this, and B, no monsters spawn. Pretty sure I have air infused, but now I know for a fact that I have air infused. So let's go ahead and drop the bones. And we have gold. We're going to need gold. Definitely going to need some gold. Glowstone dust. Alright, let's get rid of those tags, whatever those things are. You guys are probably killing me that I'm leaving some of the stuff behind. But I'm a one-track mind kind of guy. When I have an idea, what I and I know what I need or want, that's what I go for, man. Uh, let's see. Oop, more gold. Definitely need that. Ooh, lots of it too. Well, I say lots of it, but I could double that. Almost positive, unless it gets crushed, like the everything else in the world does when I put it in the macerator. By everything else in the world, I, of course, I'm just speaking about the diamonds that I ruined, and that was my own fault, really, crushing diamonds. I mean. To be honest, that's not the smartest thing I've done. Okay, so that just leaves in a circle. So I just went in a circle. Now we could do some exploration maybe this way. See what's off in this direction. Lots of redstone. That's good. Yes, yes, yes. Give me your redstone. Probably shouldn't dig directly above me. Same rule as digging directly below me. That will end up getting me killed, uh, I'm sure. I've been here and this is my mine shaft. Alright, that's fine. Is there anything over here that I missed? Doesn't seem like it. Ooh, wait. No. All right, let's go up another. Let's go up another floor and see if we could find it. Uh, maybe up a floor. I, I feel like there is. I'm. I. Oh, this is that. Let's get that out of here. Um, I feel like I'm definitely missing some essences over in these areas where I've been. I almost. I. I definitely feel like they are over here. <sighs> All right, let's look. Excuse me. Pardon me. Water. Mm. Not over here, really. What's this? Oh, okay, we're sinking. Anything underneath? Nope. Anything over here? Big reactors kind of mod. Not really. Nope, alright. We could dig. I'm just looking for cave-like areas that'll make it easier for me right at the, at the start here. Ah. Go ahead and grab this. Yeah, let's go over here. Alright. Oh wait, I have a whole tunnel of mining things already over here. What the F? Why am I not over here? Also, yeah, order infused stone. Good, let's grab it. This is good. Alright, let's grab, and we have... Oh, we already have order shards. Well, I mean, you can't go wrong with more order shards. So we have order, and we have um, air so far. Now, what's over here? Is this just my more mining shaft area? And I just missed some iron or something? Why did I miss iron? Let's go ahead and grab this. Oops, we'll put that torch back momentarily. By momentarily, I mean right now. Where, oh where, I guess we'll remove the flowers. Let's get out of here. Good enough. Alright, it looks like I was over here. Digging. But is there something over here? Or am I just, was I just digging? This dirt, that's a good sign. I think. 
Just want to find a cave, man. I hear bats squeaking and stuff, so I'm going to go looking for... Yeah, I hear bats. We can find ourselves our cave. That'd be great. Dirt is... I feel like dirt is usually a sign of something, but... This is dirt, man. Maybe I'm just... I'm thinking too much into it. Let's go ahead and drop a couple of those. Uh, I should probably use my shovel for the dirt. Christ. And the gravel as well. I'm just trying to follow the sounds. Like, I hear it to my left. I hear water running. Alright. Use up the rest of that. Is there... Is the water below... Oh, there we go. As I was saying, is the water below me? It seems there it is. It is, it is indeed. We got more air infused stone. I'm curious if other infused stones actually form outside of cave systems, and maybe I'm silly in thinking that I'm going to find the infused stone that I need in here. I wonder if my magical book tells me so. Let's take a look. Dimensional shards. That doesn't really help me whatsoever. Ores. They can be combined. Okay, let's see. On occasion, there is so much primal energy in an aura that'll settle in a few stone. These crystals are various elements. Blah, blah. There are six types of infused stone. Let's see. The reddish ore found deep underground and when smelted is quicksilver. So cinnabar can be turned to quicksilver. Okay. All right. And amber. It doesn't really say. So they can found. It can just be found in rocks. So it sounds like a lot of luck. Which is fine, if that's indeed the case. I can deal with that. We'll just we'll have to adventure now. We will explore a little bit more outside the world, looking for particular things that might be just on the side of a mountain or something, just to maybe get a little bit of luck when looking, because you never know. Actually, just do it up this way. Almost there, or what? Is this not leading anywhere? Why do I think this is going somewhere? Hey, I'm building like my I thought I saw a stairway up there. And I'm just like building a stairway, in fact. Silly me of me. Let's go ahead and grab I mean we might as well keep grabbing the infused stone. There's no reason not to. It's gonna be useful in some way or another, I'm sure. So we'll go ahead and grab it. Let's plop down the other direction then. Torch. Uh, ooh, what is that? Aluminum berries. Well, I'll take it. I mean, aluminum berries. It sounds delicious. I'm trying them out for dinner. I'm sure nothing will go wrong. Nothing will get lodged in my intestines in any way. Like a puppy that eats rocks. Alright, let's go ahead and grab that. Don't let your puppies eat rocks, by the way. It will kill them. Just in case you didn't know. I feel like that might be something that you should know, but hey, you never know who does and doesn't know certain, you know, mostly common sense things. Okay. Okay, so that can be turned into Quicksilver. Well, that looks like something different. Eh. Let's plop a torch down. What do we got? Earth. Yes. Alright, we found some. Let's go ahead and put this down. Uh, we'll go ahead and grab. Look at all this. We're getting a lot of steel in turn, which is nice. It'll give me a reason to keep going into our industrial craft. Is to constantly kind of prioritize and optimize the amount of stuff we're gathering. Now, if we can come across one more essence. One more different essence before the end of this episode. That would make me happy. More earth is not a bad thing. Stock up on the new ore. Or the new essence. Oh, Jesus. Hello. That could could have been, rather, my death. Luckily, it's not. We are getting really deep. I have probably explored... Whoop. A little bit further than I actually meant to. Oh, is that... Is that something new? Let's go check it out. Let's see, let's see. We can, uh, if that's a new one, I'll be a very happy man. It, I can't, I can't remember if that's order or not. 
if that's order infused stone or not. I feel like it is. Magical crops? What is this? Black crystal shard. Fuck that. What is this? Essence dust. Alright, well we already have a bunch of that at home, but... Do I have room? Do I have cobblestone? I do. Alright, Mathis. Don't F this up, man. Oh, that's, that's earth. Let's, um... Before we get ourselves in a little bit of trouble here, let's pop down some torches. Dangerous, man. I've got so much good stuff on me. I wish there was like a teleportation spell or device or something. Alright. Thing is, this is probably something I already have. Let's get rid of that. ASAP. As awesome as it looks. Alright, let's see. Fire infused. Nope, don't have that one. Alright, let's make some room for it. In the inventory. Goodbye, fucking gravel. Right? Yeah, goodbye gravel. Okay, we're not. You know what? Let's just toss it off the edge. Ooh. Oh, man. Please do not fall off the edge. You need this. All right. All right. Yes. We have some fire infused stone. And this, I think. Actually, let's check the options real quick. Is my lighting normal? It is as bright as I can make it. Um, you know what? We'll call an episode here. We've made some progress. We've made some progress. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying the series or continue to enjoy the series, dropping a comment, dropping a like helps me uh, nut me know that I, you are enjoying it and lets me know that you want to see it continued. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button for more daily videos just like these. And I'll see all of you next time. Bye-bye.